back to my channel. In today's video, I have for you eight tropes that I absolutely love in fiction. In my previous video that I just uploaded on Monday, I recorded eight tropes that I just cannot read in fiction. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out. I will link it below so you guys can check it out right there. And yeah, let's jump right into today's video. So just like in the previous video, I will work my way up or down. I don't know which is the right way to do it, but I will work my way up to my favorite trope. So I'm going to start with number eight. So number eight is fantasy tropes to do with kings and queens, like a kiss of deception. Um, I know that in the tropes that I don't like, one, the very first one that I mentioned was high fantasy, but this is, I like fantasy, but not too high fantasy, like Game of Thrones and Lord of Rings. I don't like that, but this is different. This is, um, almost like very, you can keep track of the characters, the world isn't too different, it's just not high fantasy. So I love uh, fantasy tropes like that, that have to do with kings and queens, so yeah. Number seven is tropes to do with fallen angels. I love anything to do with angels, and um, like I loved Fallen by Lauren Kate. It was one of my favorite books, I really did enjoy it. Um, so yeah, anything to do with like fallen angels, I'm really intrigued by that subject. In fact, I was writing a fantasy fiction on be, due to having to do with angels and because it was a little difficult to do, I put it on pause, but I do intend on returning back to that novel, to that manuscript, and let's see what happens in the future. I have actually a lot of videos where I was writing that novel during NaNoWriMo, so if you guys are interested in watching any of those, I'll link it below for you guys to check out also. Number six is topics to do with true events. I love anything that was inspired by true events. I actually, I guess maybe that's the writer in me. I always pull from, you know, things that have happened in my life or things that have happened to people that I know. Um, not all of it, just little, you know, piece, pieces here and there. So yeah, I love anything to do with inspired by true events. Number five, of course, is vampires. Anything to do with vampires. I am currently writing a screenplay to do with vampires. So I love that topic, as you guys know. I loved the Twilight series. It was like my favorite series. So yeah, anything to do with vampires, I really, really do enjoy. Number four is rom-coms like Bet Me by Jennifer Cruzy. I love where rom-coms like that um, show a character that's so realistic and it's just written so well. And another author that does that, that writes like chick lit kind of books is Sophie Kinsella. If you are interested in that kind of um, storytelling, then you must check her out. She just wrote, a, she just released another one called I Owe You. And I really like that book a lot and I love how the character is so realistic and so much like a regular person. Number three that I totally love is tropes of who done it. I love Girl on the Train. I love um, Big Little Lies. I love um, Gone Girl. So all those books that you know, keep you intrigued through the entire novel that like you're trying to figure out who did it, what is happening. Ah, oh, I love those type of tropes. Number two that I absolutely love is anything to do with World War II. I cannot tell you how many books I have read on World War II. If you guys are interested, you can also check out my Goodreads because I have all the books that I've read on there, but probably my favorite one is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna and this actually this book is going to be turned into a movie so I am so excited I cannot wait to watch it but the Alice Network is another one that I love I mean I'm reading another one now called the things I cannot say like World War II topics like I cannot get enough of and number one is probably not going to come as a surprise to you guys because it's what I write and number one favorite trope is complicated love stories like um, Something Borrowed and Something Blue by Emily Giffen, pretty much anything by Emily Giffen and actually Nicholas Sparks. I do love Nicholas Sparks, but my only problem with Nicholas Sparks is that he always has someone dying in his novels and that doesn't vibe with me very well, but I do love the story without the death 
element that he always includes in his stories but yeah i love complicated love stories anything to do with a little bit of romance nothing to do with you know those harlequin romances or erotica but all to do with just like just complicated love like you know real life all right you guys that is all i have for you today i hope that you enjoyed this video make sure that you leave me a comment that you subscribe that you hit like and that you hit the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload my next video which is actually going to be on monday this next video is all about how to create vision boards and how to stay busy and productive and how to just stay inspired during these difficult times and a vision board is a great way to do that plus i share all the things that are included in my vision board what my vision is for the future in hopes that you guys also get to know me a little bit more my plans for the future and how i stay inspired during these difficult times all right you guys i'll see you guys again in a new video in a few days until next time stay safe